So right now, let's look around the transmission and see if we're gonna find any obvious signs of the wiring harness rubbing against the transmission itself. So the harness over here, for example, Okay, I don't think there's an open there. I don't see anything. All right. So there's something that's kind of catching my attention here. So this is the harness that goes to the transmission control unit. But I noticed that this connector here is loose. Okay, so this is loose. And look at this. So what I'm going to do is I am going to disconnect this connector and look at it because maybe, maybe our problem is here because this is the wire, this is the harness actually that goes all the way to the uh, transmission control unit. So I'm going to sit you guys over here. I'm going to disconnect this electrical connector. We're going to see inside to see if it looks dirty. If it does, we're going to clean it. Because our wire is a yellow and it's a yellow and red. Okay, let me see if I can find that wire over here. All right, so I'm gonna sit you guys over here. We're gonna open this up. I'm suspecting our problem to be in this connector. Hopefully it's just in this connector because that's gonna be pretty easy. All right, so I'll sit you guys over here and then I'm gonna unplug this connector and look at it. So, I'm gonna remove this connector cap. So we're gonna check the pink wire with the white tracer and the yellow wire with the red tracer. So I'm going to bring you guys over here so I can show you the wires we're gonna check. So since this connector is loose, I'm pretty sure that's where the problem is. And the locking tabs on this connector are broken so I can just unhook it without any effort so I'm betting my money on this connector this is where the problem is so let's see what we got all right so here is the pink wire with the white tracer and over here is the, the yellow wire I hope you can see this wire. This is the yellow wire with the red tracer. So basically, this side of the harness is coming from the fuse box. And then that side of the harness is going to the transmission. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that we have power on both wires at this side of the harness. If we do have power here, then our open is between this side of the harness up to the transmission electrical connector. Okay, so let me show you the wiring diagram again so you can see what I'm testing. All right, so we are at this connector over here. So connector C250. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna back probe the connector at this side. So this wire here is good. So we already know that there's power going to the TCM at pin 9 but we don't have power at pin 13 so we're gonna back probe it here to see if there's power if we do have power at the connector then the open is between the connector and the transmission control unit okay so now let's go under the truck and back probe these two wires alright so here's the pink wire actually this wire is good but we're just gonna double check. 
we got that. Now we're gonna back probe this one. All right, so the red back probing tool is connected to the pink wire and the black one is connected to the yellow wire. So I'm gonna get my test light and we're gonna make sure we have power on these two wires. So my test light is connected to ground. The key is on inside the truck. So let's touch the pink wire first. As you can see the test light light, so that's good. Okay, we didn't have a problem with this wire, so that's good. So now let's touch the yellow wire which is the wire that doesn't have power at the electrical connector of the TCM. So let me touch that. As you can see, we have power here too. So these two wires have power at this side of the connector. So the problem is most likely at this side of the connector. Okay, so I'm going to remove this cover because if we do have power here, we do have power on this wire and also power on this side. So these two wires should have power at the transmission electrical connector. Actually, let's check that and see. Let's see if we have power at the TCM. All right, so my test light is still connected to ground. So if I touch this wire, now there's power on this wire. If I touch this one, Now there's no power on this pink wire, but there is now power on the uh, yellow wire. Remember the yellow wire is the wire that didn't have power before. Okay, so by just wiggling that connector, now we have power in the yellow and red trace wire. So actually, if you look at, let me bring the light here. If you look at this connector, you'll see that this connector is not straight. So let's push this connector in all the way. So let me disconnect this connector. So let's look at the, the pins on the connector. So everything looks good. Everything on this side looks good. So there are some locking tabs over here that are broken. As you can see, this tab over here is missing, and there's another tab over here that's missing. So the, the connector is not locking all the way. And this is the problem, guys. So I'm pretty sure if I get a zip tie and zip tie this really hard, this problem will be fixed. So let's reconnect this. So now what I'm going to do is Okay, actually I can hear a click when I push this. It's like when I push it all the way, we make a connection. But when I release, can you see this? I don't know if you heard. I heard a click inside the truck. But when I release, watch. Do you see that? So, let's try something. I'm going to hold this up. And as I'm, as I'm holding this, we're gonna use our scan tool to see if we can now talk to the transmission control unit. And when I let go, we will see if we will lose, if we will lose connection or if we will lose communication with the uh, scan tool. Okay. So now let me grab the uh, scan tool and let's try that. All right, so our problem is here. Now with the uh, connector not being pushed in all the way, let's see if we can talk, hold on, Chris. Let's see if we can talk to the transmission control module first. So if we go to TCM, so right now there's no communication with the transmission control module. So Chris is gonna push that connector in all the way, or we'll push it. So as you're pushing it, now let's see if we can now talk to the transmission module. So right there. Now we can read codes out of the transmission module. Okay, because 
Chris is pushing that connector all the way. So now let go. All right, so once now, after you let go, watch this. I'm gonna back out. I'm pretty sure we won't be able to communicate now. If I go to TCM, oh, because you pushed it really hard. So now we can still talk to the transmission module. And right now, if I go inside a truck, it's gonna start. So wait, just um, just wiggle that just a little bit. Yeah, it's gonna wiggle it. Try it. Did you wiggle it? Yeah. Okay. Try it. Let's see. If we go to transmission, now we have a no communication problem. Okay. So the problem is right over here. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to remove this cover. I'm gonna put a zip tie on both sides because this connector has gotta be replaced. We gotta replace this harness actually. See these these locking tabs over here are missing. See those? Yeah, there's supposed to be a tab here and another one over here. So these two tabs are missing. So basically what's happening, when the vehicle is being driven with the vibration, so it's coming out and it stops making connection and then it goes into a limp mode and the truck stops. So I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get two zip ties and zip tie this really well. Watch, you hear the beep? Uh -huh. Yeah, so now the transmission module is talking, so yeah, I can tell the difference now. So actually, can you... Yeah, I got some zip ties. No, actually, can you put some pressure on the connector first? Yeah. Before we zip tie it? Okay. Oops. It? Yeah, no, now just squeeze it. Okay, awesome. Now, as you're squeezing it, I'm going to check these two power wires here at the transmission module. Now let's see, as Chris is squeezing the, the electrical connector, so now we have power at the first power supply wire. Now let's check the other one. So we now have power on both wires. So first one and second one. So now if we go inside the truck, the truck will start. So let's put some zip ties on that connector and see what happens. All right, you can let go, Chris. Thank you. All right, so I'm gonna zip tie this. And then after I zip tie this, I'm sure this truck will start and the transmission lost communication code will go away. So now let's do that. All right, so basically what's happening on this connector, so this connector over here, C250, is that the locking tabs on the connector broke. I mean, as you guys saw, the connector was just hanging. So I don't know if the driver hit something when they were driving. So the connector broke and it came loose a little bit and we had power on this side of the connector but not on this side. So that's why the uh, transmission control unit wasn't having power on the other wire which is pin 13. This one here had power but this one didn't have power on this side of the connector. So since these locking tabs are broken I'm gonna use some zip ties to get this connector to fit very well and get it tight and then i'll bring you guys back up so that we can see if this is gonna fix it if that fixes it i'm going to just do a temporary fix with zip ties and then i will order the harness from dodge so we're gonna get a new harness that goes from this connector all the way to the transmission control unit okay so I'm gonna do a temporary fix right now with zip ties and, and then I'll bring you guys back up. All right guys, so here's what I did as a temporary fix. So I zip tied this connector together. Okay, so this is just gonna be a temporary fix. I had to remove these covers, okay, 
to get the zip tie on so now this is not going anywhere okay so with this zip tied now we have power now we have power on both wires that go to the uh, transmission control unit okay the two power supply wires now have power and if we lower the truck we should be able to start it now so let's just double check that and then I'm gonna zip tie this up here just to keep it out of the way and then I will order this harness once it comes in we're gonna replace it and that should be good to go so let's check for power at the transmission control unit once again so test light is connected to ground so let's test the first wire as you can see we have power there so now let's test the second wire so right there so we have power on both wires so now let's let's lower the truck and go inside the truck and see if it's gonna start so let's go inside the truck let's start it and then we'll come back down here and zip tie this and get it out of the way and we're gonna give the truck back to the customer we will order this harness once the harness comes in it's gonna come back so we can replace this harness and that will be the permanent fix so let's lower it and start it to see what happens all right guys so i zip tied this connector up here this is just a temporary fix again i want to say this again we're gonna order this harness this whole harness from this side of the connector all the way to the transmission module okay so we're gonna order it and once it comes in the customer is gonna bring the truck back so that we can replace it so this is just a temporary fix okay so don't just do this and let the cost and let the truck go like that just let the customer know uh, if he wants he can just leave the truck here and then once the part comes in we're just gonna connect it and it should be good to go but he wants the truck back and once we get the harness he will bring it back so we can replace it so at this point we should be able to start the truck erase all the trouble codes and this is fixed so the problem was this bad connector so the locking tabs on the connector broke so now let's go inside the truck and start it all right guys we are back in the truck I'm going to start the truck once again before we wrap up this video so let me turn the key on first I'm going to bring up our scan tool here and erase the trouble codes so let's go to transmission so as you can see we can now talk to the transmission control module So that's good. So let's go to engine. So there are no codes there, so that's good. Let's erase the trouble codes from all these modules. All right, so let's give the scan tool a couple seconds until it finishes erasing all the fault codes on all the modules. And then we will start the truck after we start the truck then we're gonna wrap up this video all right so the scan tool is done erasing all the codes from all these modules so let's click ok so now if we go to the electronic shifter module there won't be any trouble codes in it so as you can see there are no fault codes present so that's good So now let's get our scan tool out of the way. So now I'm going to start the truck. So I'm going to step on the brake pedal and I'm going to push this button. It's right there. As you can see, the truck is running. So that's good. I'm gonna step on the brakes, so let's change gears. Let's go to reverse. Okay, let's go to neutral. Drive. So back to neutral. Reverse. Drive. So that's good, guys. So the problem was that broken 
uh, connector, the other half of the connector that's on the harness that goes to the transmission. That is what was causing this vehicle to go into a limp mode because the other power wire to the TCM wasn't making good connection. So the uh, connector came loose a little bit so there wasn't connection anymore so it created an open in a circuit that's why this truck wasn't running okay it went into a limp mode the transmission control unit wasn't talking anymore so the truck couldn't start I mean the, the uh, ECM could not start the engine because it didn't know what gear the transmission was on okay so I'm gonna leave this right over here this is fixed I mean temporarily this is fixed we know what the problem is I'm going to order another harness and install it. Once we put the new harness on, that connector will be latched properly and that will be good to go. I'm not gonna wait until that harness comes in so that I can show you the new harness. So I'm just gonna leave this video over here. So now I'm gonna turn off the engine so that we can wrap up this video. All right, so the engine is off. All right guys, so I'm gonna leave this right over here. This truck is fixed. So this is how you fix a no communication problem on any truck basically. If you have a computer that's not communicating, you have to make sure that you check your powers and grounds first. If you have power and ground at the computer you're testing, then the problem is gonna be the computer itself. So it's the same process whether it's an ECM, TCM or BCM. So in this case, the problem was a connector that wasn't latching correctly. So we're gonna get the other half of the connector that's missing. Once we install it, this will be good to go. So I hope you liked the video. If you did like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumb down. But if you do, you gotta tell me why so we can make better videos in the future. If you have any comments, questions, criticism, leave them in the comment box. And if this is your first time here, subscribe to the channel. Ring the bell so you can get notified every time I upload a new video. Thanks for watching guys. See you next time.